Hello! Welcome to your favorite show on the internet. This is stage four where we shed light on shenanigans, human shenanigans, and we ask you to tafazali, please, please, from the bottom of our hearts, get it together. My name is Auntie N from the internet, and today I will be talking about our favorite topic ever. Mother's Day just happened the other day, so I am feeling malamala. My emotions! Feeling a bit sentimental about my own mother. And I decided to point out a few odd behaviors that our parents have, our African mothers in particular. Also, shout out to people from Pacific Asia, Asia, and other countries where your mother used to throw things at you. mostly just kitchen implements in the name of discipline white people you can stand to the left you have no idea what i'm talking about <laughs> let's get into it behavior number one that i do not understand is while you are at home your mother will rain all sorts of insults on you she'll call you lazy she'll call you useless she'll call you a child of the devil but when you are out in public hey you cannot breathe no 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 she'll brag about you you are the bestest you are the greatest, you are the prettiest, you are the smartest. You are extraordinary in every way. This schizophrenic behavior is very confusing for me because I'm always like, but you just, but we just said that I was not Sijatosha Mboga at home. <laughs> what are you saying to this stranger? This is the kind of behavior I do not understand. Number two behavior. Okay, so you're at home, right? Mm-hmm. Chores are being done, right? Mm-hmm. Your mother is doing her chores and you are doing your chores. Then you, you finish first. Then you go over and ask her, Mom, can I help you? No. All right. So you skip off to go live your life, right? Right. Next thing you know, Christian songs are being passively, aggressively played in your direction. Meaning, you don't ever help her. Or you hear her in the kitchen going, No! me in this house you asked you said no help me help you what do you want what what do you want out of life please when i ask you can i help you just say eh hey, take this and help me don't play and other such songs towards me aggressively because you are mad i have not helped you i asked eh niliuliza Behavior number three that I do not understand is you can never date, but my friend, Utaoalini. Yes, yes, yes. These are the Presbyterian, Baptist, Catholic, all Christians, parents, mothers, line up over here and explain to me a hundred marks where you want us to get this man from. No, 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 no. They will not just swan into our houses and pick us up and marry us. We have to date these people and we have to date them while we are young. You can't tell me not to date all through and then when it is time for me to get married, you are also there side-eyeing me, side-eyeing me. <laughs> so then when will you get married? Uh-uh. None of us understand this behavior. So please, in the comments, explain a hundred marks. What do you want from us? Behavior number four. How many of you have more than five siblings? Just in the comments, tell me how many siblings you have. Also, explain to me why it is that your mother will look you dead in the eye and call you all your siblings' names. All of them. Not your name. All your siblings. And if you don't say, eh hey, or yes, mom, she gets mad. No, no. No, no, no. Let's be sensible, please, eh? Let me ask you a question. Who is the person, eh? Who wrote my full names on their birth certificate? Who is that person? Is it not your mother? Mother dearest, aren't you the one who wrote? Even if you were not there and my dad wrote, weren't you supervising the writing of my names? You know all my names. How come you're calling me other people's names? Then I don't reply, you get mad. What is that? I don't understand this behavior. Behavior number five. Guys, especially moms, kujen tuapa. Come and tell me slowly in my ear, why is it that you hog the remote? Then when you have it and you're watching your favorite test show, the one you like, the one with your favorite actor, you A, fall asleep. B, pick up your phone and call 
all family members. That's just multitasking on an incredibly crazy level. How are you on the phone and watching? And then dare I change the channel? Hey, 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 hey. There shall be fire. Fire. What is that? Seriously, if you're not watching your program, let other people watch the program. You can't be hogging the remote. This is where your parent will tell you it's my TV. I'm like, hey, sour. Sour, sour. Behavior number six that I do not understand. Friend, you cannot call me and tell me the house pet misses me. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> what you talking about? Yeah, yeah. As a way to make me come to your house. Don't do that. Just say, hello, my daughter, who I birthed. <laughs> Please come home. I miss you. Not this business of, you know, even Mark misses you. By the way, Mark is a cat. And we all know Mark's. Ma cats are psychopaths. They don't care. They have nary a care for us humans. So don't tell me the cat misses me. Just tell me eh, that you love and miss me. And I will see in my schedule where I can put you and come home and visit you. Weird stuff. Speaking of which, let us talk about how mothers have an incredibly silent and strong love language. They will never tell you I love you. Don't, don't. That's not the African way of doing things. What do you mean we're telling each other I love you? What is this? What is this Muzungu business? What is this caucasity? What white nonsense is this? We're not going to tell you we love you verbally. With that in mind, I'm going to try a little experiment, all right? I'm going to call my very own mother. Hmm? and try to get her to say I love you. Let us see if this experiment's gonna work or not. I'm calling my mom, so... Be prepared. Wait, 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 wait. Hello? Hello? How are you? Fine. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. I just wanted to tell you Yes. That I love you so much. Wow. <laughs> and you're such a great mom. And I don't take for granted all the sacrifices you make. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And I hope I can see you soon. I miss you. Oops. <laughs> My credit is over. We're broke. There's no more money to call my mother. <laughs> That's the best you're going to get out of me. And last but not least, because we cannot tell our mothers, now that you know better, do better. But <laughs> That's never going to work. We're going to get, we're going to be worked with them because that's what will happen. They're perfect the way they are. Thank you, mothers. I would like to end with a shout out to my own mother. I'm a seller. You're the best. You really are. And to future mothers, you know yourselves. I'm not going to mention you because nobody wants to talk about it, <laughs> but you know yourself. Also, I want to talk to all my friends who are moms. You guys are doing such an amazing job. Good job. And there, stay to heal, heal. I would like to say thank you to all my friends, mothers. Weirdly enough, you guys have just adopted me by force, so you are here. So... Thank you very much for being in my life. And to those people who cannot be with their mothers or have estranged relationships with their mothers, I want to let you know that I see you and you are special and that you are loved. And happy Mother's to you. Happy Mother's Day to you anyway. God bless. I will see you guys next week. Look for more fun stuff ahead.